We are back racing, round two of the Gorick Spring Series. The Rocket's got her signature beanie on. It can only mean one thing, good vibes today. Yeehaw! <laughs> well, sort of. I'm going to be doing a little bit of endurance today as well. I'm going to be riding to the race because the Rocket is meant to ride with me after, but someone's a little bit worse for wear because they had one too many of the Vinos last night. So it's also just quite cold out. It's not really like it's last quite... time it was like a nice sunny day, so... It's cold, hence why the signature beanie's yeah. back. I'm going to smash these oats down quick, get going to the race, and I've put my big boy pants on today. Last time I raced the sport category, this time we're stepping up to expert, and I am cacking my pants. We got a nervous Nelly here. One, it's going to be much faster, and two, it's an extra lap, which worries me a lot. Are you worried for me, Rocket? Really, yeah. really, really worried. You look excited for today. <laughs> I can't wait to just get home and sit on the sofa. That wine just got me last night, it did. <laughs> but let's go racing. It's bloody cold. No wonder why the rocket didn't want to ride. <gasps> Number 572 today and exciting stuff. The commentator, Mr. Derek Coppola, is racing. Are you racing Super Vets? I am indeed. Look, he's shivering, oh. quaking in his boots. <laughs> <That's> about right. <laughs> <laughs> he said, don't know why I got out of the van, it's too cold for this. Number 499 for Dad and he is going to take the Super Vets win, maybe but we have lost commentary today. We've got another special guest on the channel today. Look at this thoroughbred athlete. He's got a pair of joggers on. Yeah, joggers are, and, I'm freezing. And a puffer jacket. <laughs> what an athlete, and pink sunglasses. So I'm gonna be keeping up with you so I'm not gonna get cold. If you're wearing pink sunglasses, you've got to go fast. Tom's actually probably the reason I started this channel. I won't big him up too much, but he's racing today. Crossfitters, they think they can do everything, don't they? If you don't know what Crossfitters are, I'll insert a clip now. But this guy reckons he's going to come and take the Gorick lot down. It is game time. Crossfitter versus Gorick mountain bikers. Oh, what's that cable doing? So I've got a couple of stories here. This is not my bike, for one. I dropped my seat to try to get it level and I snapped the cable. So Dale's going to get a call up in a minute to fix my life. I need to tie this onto my bike somehow. Dale's about to race <laughs> and he's still sat in the van. <laughs> Tell Dale I need a cable tie. He's got nine minutes. Dad, you're not doing it. It's too cold. Dad, have you got a cable tie? Please. They are. Dad's not racing now. Oh, he is. Proper, proper athlete there. Fair van. A uh, bike race. <laughs> No! What's it not spares van? Every bike race I've done, there's a van with spares with it. Need people like me to sort my life out. I'll just cable tie up. If I, if I cable tie near it, it'll probably still work. Probably <laughs> 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 following I'll, car I'll as well. Some yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Sarah, will, Sarah will Sarah will follow around in the car for oh, Tom, perfect. just in case he needs his water bottle and stuff. Well, you know? And sport and cycling we call it bedons, I think. So <laughs> yeah. So if you, if you see me around, <laughs> great. Drop a knock in it. He's a, good. That's the fourth lights fix I've ever I've seen it. There we go. So I've got tape. Hang on. It's not working. <laughs> <laughs> Flipping out. The only advantage I'd have had on you would have been the technical bits. And now I don't have a dropper, so we're probably level pegging. Oh, because that makes such a difference. Yes, right. it does make a difference. If it is technical, if it's actually technical, like... Well, not decent. massively. It's twisty. It's like spiky. There's no threshold effort. It's like sprint, oh, no, no, recover, I mean, bump. Technical, technical, as in drops and jumps. No. And... It's an XC race. Oh, Jesus. You're not doing an enduro. Jesus. This bloke think he is in his pink shades. He's knock-off Ali Barbars. No, no, they're joke -lies. They're actually joke -lies. <laughs> Legit. Here we go, fix. Flipping it. That's working. Jesus yeah, it's all good. Christ. It's all good. Gonna go for a little spin? Yeah. Right, practice lap, see what this crossfitter can do. I'm not doing a full lap. Oh, Are we knackered? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh yeah, some he's a pump. He's got a pump. Honestly, it's a good job Tom's got his team car, aka <laughs> aka the rocket bringing a pump. 
to save the day. Who don't bring a track pump to a bike race? Oh my god, I had a three year old, two year old looking, I had to look after her this morning. Lucky I got this close to getting in. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna hurt me. <laughs> is it right, Come on, Crossfitter! <laughs> He's so strong! Oh my god, it's really hard. <laughs> <laughs> he needs the team car, he's hanging out. How are we feeling? Easy. Easy. Oh my goodness. Look at him, looks slick in the shade. Got about 30 layers on. I'm so hot. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh what? <laughs> yeah, I'm hot. Oh my god. Oh, he's good to go. Race ready, joggers on. How much further? I'm gonna say 10 minutes. Oh, it's so much trouble. I thought CrossFit has crowned the fittest on earth. Yeah, this is my warm up lap. <laughs> I've gone from zero to 170 beats here. <laughs> oh, okay, let's get after it. Go on. Oh, yeah, you want to watch and learn? Watch and run. Man needs to save some energy. We've got to climb all the way back up yet. I think my saddle needs to go higher as well. Yeah, you're so low. <laughs> Ooh, he's a new man now, he's got his jacket off. Oh, How was that, champ? Easy. Easy, ready to go, look. Does that count as one of my laps? <laughs> don't, oh my god. Don't be fooled by the grey hair. The oh. silver fox is actually pretty fast. No, right, I'm hanging Ooh. out. Hanging out, one lap. Oh, we stopped. I just stopped having my gear off. I caught you over there and literally like George was just riding your tail the no, whole George way through. No, George was trying to hold on to me. <laughs> it was like, Tom, pace me up here. <laughs> okay, no, no, it's going to be so just... an hour's going to be a oh, grind. An hour? One hour oh. 20? Hour 20? One hour well, I've 20. done one lap, I tell them now. It's on video, I've done a lap. Oh, I tell you what, tracky bees, a Patagonia. <laughs> And another layer was not the right way. I was so hot. Athlete, yeah, look, CrossFit drink Athlete. as well. <laughs> George, I think that was a bad call doing a practice lap. I didn't need to get 20 minutes extras in my legs. <laughs> you just absolutely seen me off. It's nothing to practice. It's like practice cycling up a hill. I'm wasting 20 minutes of my life cycling up a hill there. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that'd be good. I'm trying to decide whether I want to waste extra weight I'll wearing it, this. Mate, I'll carry it, mate. I'll carry it. When I want to overtake you, I'll, I'll give you a little pat on the bum. Like pedals for you, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> where's, the, um, where's the battery in there? Wait, try riding that hog. <laughs> Go on. Oh, that's so nice. It actually feels really good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Get that tractor up the hill, mate. I'll be like, I'll be like a yellow traffic cone out there. People <laughs> have to swerve past me. How does it feel? Oh, yeah. Is it good? Smooth, Fast. smooth. It's like a road bike, isn't it? You don't want to be behind Tom today with his elbows out. You're not getting past these treads. <laughs> this is so unfair. <laughs> oh, Dad. What does he need to do, Rocket? Float the bike. I was going to say give it the berries. <laughs> Come on, champ. Come on, champ. Just say, look at my watch. I'm only allowed to ride 155 watts. So, uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, that's my base for the day. We are taking that off, yeah? What? Jacket. First lap, probably. <laughs> Come on, George.
how much I drank. Full bottle. Oh, I was absolute bonk at the end. I, I was empty to today. That one when they kicked, I was like, that's it, game over. I've never felt so empty, ever. Oh, now you've got a cycle pen. Yeah. Hey, what's yeah. that hanging off? Is that dribble? That's not hanging dribble, off. Dribble, snot. Yeah. Pissed okay. himself. I was pure, <laughs> pure bonk at the end. Did you have... in my pocket. Oh my God, George. I was all over the place. Like, when they kicked on that one. It was a big kick, I tried to go with it. I had nothing. Oh, I was seeing stars at the end, honestly. You did five laps then, didn't you? Yeah, that extra lap, game changer. How many laps did you have? I did like six or seven. <laughs> <laughs> I got 200 laps in, two and a half laps, and I blew my beans. I was like, oh, oh my yeah. god. I had no fuel. Apparently I had to walk up two or three of the hills. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> my legs are nothing. Mate, I looked at my heart rate, it's 114. I was like, I'm actually in zone two. I had nothing, in my, no yeah. power in my legs. I was absolutely nasty so bad. You survived? Yeah. And you overtook, you at one point you were behind a guy for ages and then the next time I saw you, you were in front Smashed of him. Smashed him, didn't I? I had lap yeah. two and a half. Two, lap, lap, two, two laps is enough, like 40 minutes. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, look mate, jump on the bat, I'm much quicker down the hills. <laughs> Went down the hills and just like going up, I was like, you better go past me now, I think I could keep on with him. And I just gone. Idiots like saying to each other, oh, I'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> Tom's back, Tom's in every I'm week. I'm not, now. I'm not. And I actually, when I was cycling, I was like, yeah, my mate's like, oh, you get me a good deal on a bike. I'm like, poke that. There's no way. <laughs> I was so hungry the way around, I was thinking of food. I shouted at you, make sure you get me a flapjack ready. I was so hungry. If I give me a tea, I'm like, no, lap two. I've had two bits of toast. He's, he's nearly 40 now, he's past it. No, Wait until you go into the vet category. No, I won't. <laughs> oh boy! And now for the ride home, and I'm looking down at these legs, these two bits of string, and just thinking, please get me home. I cannot wait to sit on the sofa. Those boys in the expert category are strong. They put me in the hurt box straight away, and legs just weren't there. Oh, but I know short term pain, long term gain in a few months will be there, hopefully. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm a broken man. Oh. Another mega day racing and I've been firmly planted on this sofa all afternoon. I'm back feeling human again now. Plenty of food's been eaten. This is recovery at its finest. I've been a useless husband this afternoon, haven't I? Well, you just hang the washing. I hung the washing. Heroic. <laughs> but the Rockets made dinner, etc, etc, while I've been loafing about here. I just can't help myself. I'm addicted to racing. I love the feeling. I love just pushing yourself to the limits. I probably shouldn't be doing it on tired legs, but you've got to do what you love. And that is what I love doing. But yeah, I just didn't have that little bit of ping today. I finished fourth, so I can't be disappointed as that was my first step up into that expert category. Uh, it was just mega fun as always. And it was wicked having Tom on the channel. He's an absolute legend. And I'm pretty sure he's going to make a video of the day himself. So at some point, I'll try and post that somewhere. I'll link his channel down below as well. He was an absolute legend on the camera today. And he is the owner of EDC CrossFit. So that is his channel, what he does it about. And just mixing it up a bit, doing different things by coming along to the racing. So it's wicked. You might get a different perspective of someone jumping in and seeing how it feels he was wrecked at the end but me and the rocket had a, had a right laugh didn't we <laughs> i can't show the rocket because she's under a fro laying that you're not camera worthy she's never camera worthy she's got a beanie on no she ain't got a beanie on are you proud of me today the rocket is proud of me still so that's all that matters i hope you've enjoyed this video and i'll catch you in the next one i'll have onboard footage when i actually get round to editing that it owned, the camera only lasted about an hour, but I will edit that up, show you what the race was about a little bit and give some commentary. So I'll catch you in the next video.